Hello and welcome to PE with Mr D. What would happen if you never moved again? If you sat on a couch, lay in a bed and didn't move a muscle? Well, we're going to explore this question by looking at the benefits of physical activity. Okay, so our learning intention for this lesson is to explain the benefits of physical activity. You will have achieved this learning intention if by the end of this video you can say I can to these four success criteria. One, define physical activity. Two, describe three consequences of inactivity. Three, describe three benefits of physical activity. And four, identify the recommended daily physical activity. So all you'll need for this lesson is a pen and paper. Pause the video now and go grab it. To begin with, let's define our terms. What is physical activity? The National Heart, Blood and Lung Institute defines physical activity as any body movement that works your muscles and uses more energy than resting. Pause the video, write that down. So going back to our question, what would happen if you never moved again? These are just a couple of things that would happen to your body. The amount of fat your body has would go up. Okay, This is related to not using that energy we were talking about earlier. Secondly, the amount of muscle in your body would actually go down. This is related to the use it or lose it principle. Because you won't be moving around and forcing your body to adapt and change and work, you would lose muscle. Following on from that, you would also lose strength. You would also lose bone strength. This means if you fall over, you might be more at risk at breaking a bone. Blood pressure would go up. This is related to things like heart attacks. Your risk of diabetes and cancer would also go up. And these factors all contribute to your risk of an early death going up as well. Take a few moments to pause the video and write this list down. For any of you visual learners out there, or Thor fans, this is what it looks like. Going from this to this. So. What happens when you do physical activity? Well, it's pretty simple. Everything we just talked about in the previous couple of slides is flipped. So our body fat percentage goes down. The amount of muscle we have stays the same or goes up. You maintain your strength or increase it. Your bone strength goes up. Your blood pressure goes down. Your risk of diabetes and cancer goes down. And your risk of an early death also goes down. How good's that? Take a moment to write these down. So, how do we get the benefits that we talked about in the previous slide? Well, this depends on your age. For 5 to 17 year olds, you need approximately 60 minutes per day of physical activity. If you're older than that, 18 to approximately 64, you need 30 or more minutes per day. But the most important message is any physical activity is better than none. So start small, find something that you enjoy and work up from there. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the lesson. Now it is quiz time. Let's see if you can explain the benefits of physical activity. We'll do this by reviewing our success criteria. Our first success criteria. Can you describe physical activity? Write the following sentence and fill in the blanks. How did you go? Physical activity is any body movement that works the muscles and uses more energy than resting. Write this down if you didn't quite get it. Our second success criteria. Can you describe three consequences of inactivity? Write the following list and put an up arrow or a down arrow for what you think happens when we are inactive. How did you go? Body fat goes up, amount of muscle goes down, strength goes down, bone strength goes down, blood pressure is up, risk of diabetes and cancer is up, risk of early death also up. Our third success criteria, can you describe three benefits of physical activity? This one should be a little bit easier guys because it's the opposite of what you've done before. So again, write this list down and give it an up or a down arrow. There we go. Did you get it? Body fat goes down, amount of muscle goes up, strength goes up, bone strength goes up, blood pressure goes down, risk of diabetes and cancer goes down, risk of early death goes down. All right, our fourth and final success criteria. Can you identify the recommended daily physical activity? For teenagers, how many minutes per day? For adults, how many minutes per day? Write these sentences and fill them in. There we go, teenagers. You need 60 minutes per day, adults at least 30. So, did you achieve the learning intention to explain the benefits of physical activity? If you did, give yourself a big high five. If not, go back and watch this video again and have another go. Here's a couple of the references that I use for the information in this video. I'll pop them down in the video description if you want to learn more. Thanks very much for watching PE with Mr D. Please make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Do you want to learn about another topic? Comment below. Thanks everybody.